What have we learned so far? We've taken the wheels off, we got the hood off, you got the generator out. Yep, the, going power, the power electronics box. Um, very tight connections in the back on the bottom. There's this big connector down here. Um, it's got a couple double leads coming out of it here. Uh, looks like it's a power ground split. Oh, that's why there's one going each way. So they actually splice this inside of here. So one of them is probably feeding the AC down below. The other one is most likely, I'm not sure if it's going back to the, uh, the AC charge module or not. Then you have the big harness up here that we just took off. This was on the very back of the, of the, moder of the uh, module. This is actually connecting this uh, power mo electronics module to the battery pack. This is your high voltage coming into it. Okay. We got the two motor generator circuits that connect down to the transmission here. They were connected one on each side. Just simple one bolt connects in and they use contact pads to touch on here onto the on the side of the module over there it's hanging. Um, we do have some low circuit or low voltage, low current circuits here interface most likely tying back into the module under the seat, the battery pack and so on. And we got two quick connects for the coolant lines. Makes it pretty simple, just a little quick wire tab, you pop that out and then they come right off. So that was fairly simple. Then they had a bit of chassis ground strap and then a ground circuit here, hard ground going back into the wiring harness. And then there's just three nuts holding the whole module down in. Uh, probably the interesting thing though was this right here was on the back of the module. This is a one of the circuit interlocks, so that when you disconnect it, you know it's, it tells you if someone tampered with the whole thing, or yeah. it disables the whole power electronics. And it actually interfaces to the cover that we took off, the whole beauty cover that's set over it. So as soon as you pull that cover off, it disables the electronics at that point. So I guess it's probably a safety measure in case the service or repair tech didn't pull the service disconnect plug that I pulled you know, yesterday. If it, for some reason he forgot to pull it, as soon as he pulls this, this connector interface is right here. You know, it's part of, and it's actually got the attachment for the for the you know for this cover as well. And then there was one little grommet here, and another fastener here, so this would have bolted down on, similar to this interface to this connector.